Hi guys, it's Erin with Gypsy and Around, and this video is about how we painted our RV. Stay tuned! Okay, next big question was... How did we prepare the walls? Prepare the wall. What kind of paint did you use? What kind of primer did you use? All kinds of problems. Let's talk about what we used first. No, how we prepped it. Let's do prep, then yeah. we'll talk about what we used, and then our lessons learned. Weather, temperature. Okay. So, prep. Prep is the most important thing. I can't stress it enough. It's if you do a poor job prepping, all the work you had of emptying, getting rid of everything, emptying your RV... Thinking you did it right, finding out later when everything's back in it and your paint's peeling off is the worst feeling you're going to ever have. Mm. <clears throat> Take your time, prep it, test your prep spots before you think about applying any paint and you're thinking that you're nearing done. So prepping, sand. We sanded. Uh, we did some test spots of the primer that we used. With uh, sanded and non-sanded. Sand, non-sand, non -sand, brush, roller, all those different things. Even a spray primer. Yeah. We tried that, and we found that uh, the kills um, complete. complete oil base is the best one that we had. It was yeah. it stuck. You can't scrape it off with what we had silverware. We were scraping. Yeah, the I was walls. using a fork. I couldn't it, scrape it, it off. It wouldn't scrape. So it, it's at it, Home Depot. This complete is at Home Depot. Um, Lowe's and Walmart sells kills, regular kills. I, we don't know if the regular one will work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We know this works, and we know it works good. Yeah. So make sure you get we, in, interior, exterior, that. oil base. It is a pain, a little bit more of a pain to clean up. Uh, it will stick to the interior surfaces, those panels, uh, paneling on the RVs. Yeah, because the walls are paneling. It's not wallpaper. A lot of people asked that we remove the wallpaper. It wasn't wallpaper. Those are the actual walls. RV manufacturers use a wall paneling that already has paper like adhered to it so it's like that is the wall and there's no removing that at all Re unless you just take yeah. the wall off so Re remove uh, the wallpaper it. that people add or the like manufacturers the borders. at borders those borders that we had in the before pictures that was wallpaper border for us it came off very easy we just peeled it off there was no glue residue there was no paper left over it was actually kind of a miracle then so. sand we sand, sanded sanded everything uh, just to make it yeah two sanders with the vacuum attachments uh, so the sandpaper with the holes in it uh, I bought a one gallon very inexpensive Walmart uh, one gallon vacuum uh, went to Home That's Depot uh, I got uh, a T a PVC T about one inch I think and then I went to the sump pump section for houses I bought a section of hose for sump pumps cut it in half attached the vacuum to the T, the T came off with two hoses, and those went right to the sanders. So we could turn the vacuum on and sand in nearly dust-free environment. Mm -hmm. uh, worked really good. Very inexpensive. Kept very the mess down. Easy cleanup. Get done sanding. It doesn't take a lot. Maybe 200 grit, 220. Very little bit of scuffing up. Um, wipe it down with some uh, mineral spirits. Or mineral spirits. Water. water. Uh, even a wet rag works really good. Just make sure you rinse it off. Keep getting yeah. as much as you can. Wipe it down really good two or three times before you think about painting, priming. Um, we went the route of spray primer. We tried to rent one. Home Depot says you're not going to run oil based through this, are you? I said absolutely. And I we had to go buy one. We actually got a quote from a guy to do it or to have someone else do it. Oh, yeah. Because originally Bill was like, well, let's just pay for somebody to do it good get it done quick. and get it done and boom, boom, boom. And we had them come out. The, literally, I called five different places, professional painters. Nobody would take on the job of an RV because they'd never done it before. One guy said he'll take on the task. He was nervous, but he'd do it. Um, he quoted us $1,600 to do it. And he's the one who talked about oil-based priming and, and this and that. And that's where we're like, oh, we have to go oil-based. So no way were we going to pay $1,600 to do it. We knew we could save hundreds of dollars, thousands, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, do it ourselves. So that's where oil-based came from. Yeah. Home Depot, want, we, we they rent your sprayers. Uh, they don't want to have uh, 
the oil. Oil based primers or, or uh, chemo um, paints going through their sprayer. Mm -hmm. So we bought one. Um, when you spray an oil base, just get a go, go go to Home Depot, Lowe's. They all sell it as a, a respirator, eye protection, Tyvek suit. Um, you look like a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but you're safe. Um, it is really strong. Very um, So if you can run your pump outside, otherwise watch your pump levels. Um, use a organic vapor cartridge. Uh, it will definitely. Um, Oh, or in inorganic vapor cartridge and yeah. they sell them at the store they'll help you get them yeah. uh, be safe yeah. eyeglasses um, we sprayed prime about five gallons of that kills complete um, and sprayed everything cabinets everything the floor it was perfect beautiful plywood and all it the was cabinets wet. all the cabinets were painted um, lots of work in the in that prep so one day start to finish was priming let that cure up really good for 24 hours uh, came in to start doing the top, top coat, coat of what do we use? Bear, Bear Marquee, Marquee eggshell um, finish because it doesn't leave a shine and it's still washable. Um, anything with a gloss and a shine, and you're going to see every imperfection in your wall. So get eggshell or satin. We chose eggshell, and this is our gray paint, our gray accent paint, which is chain reaction. But the white we used is the um, base ultra. Uh, ultra pure white ultra white um it wasn't a mixed color it's literally right off the shelf we just had them shake it and um bring it in yeah. it was this was the tensible kind oh. but it'll say right down here on the purple package it'll say ultra pure white oh, and yeah, that's what we white, used on the white. white and it is white yeah and we shot it i didn't do any we didn't do any prep on the ceiling spraying yeah. that oil-based primer it, it works great it sticks to a little bit of the texture on the ceiling it stuck to it perfectly mm -hmm. the little bit of sanding we did everywhere of course you guys know about if you're going to spray something you have to protect everything that you don't want to have sprayed so all the windows the framings the doors the glass we had that all taped the, off the easiest part about the whole thing is we had nothing in here if we were to do that now after living in here roller and brushes we'd be roller and brushing it of course we wouldn't be spraying because we'd be going across you know yeah. dealing with all the obstacles so, so if, if you have everything out i recommend easy. spraying it it's, it gives you a lot better finish and do um, it in the spring yes don't do it in the cold because when we sh came in the second day to shoot our top coat uh the temperature was warm inside we had the heaters going it's nice and warm in here i didn't touch the walls and get the temperature of the walls the surface temperature from the outside being 45 cool. 50 degrees yeah. had the, the surface temperature below what they recommended and it ran like crazy it did everywhere not stick to where the metal frame is to the rv all the exterior walls the paint ran interior walls did fine the exterior walls looked like somebody dumped water on it and it was running down the wall and we literally had a depressed husband on my hands for two days <laughs> but then we had to buy hand rollers and we had to sand the whole RV again. Once it dried. So sanded it at all. Learn a lesson from us. Do it when the weather is a bit warmer, at least sixty degrees. Outside, spring I'd say spring. 70. Summer's gonna be too hot. You're not gonna want to run your AC when you're painting. Uh, unless you're rolling and brushing and if you're wearing that suit with the oil based primer and spraying oh. in the heat you don't want to do that he was soaking wet afterwards <laughs> um or um early fall mm -hmm. early fall before it gets too cold so that's that'd be our good, biggest good painting tip do it when it's warmer not when it's cooler and oil-based primer and um service prep Service, service prep, prep to make it last otherwise you're doing it all for nothing because you can scratch our walls and our cabinets and that paint isn't going anywhere and that was our biggest biggest thing yep so, so that was our walls interior painting yes yeah okay so hopefully that helped answer some questions that you had about painting your rv and now you're ready to go buy your paint primer and paint brushes and get started yourself so if there's any other questions that you guys have go ahead and comment below and we will post answers as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our journey bye